everybody, how's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. I'm uh, Pity Cavs here this morning with Christian. So we start in the morning in our heifer barn. We give uh, the calves that get uh, grower pallets, pallets, and these first two pens. These calves were moved inside two days ago, so they get top dressed with our calf grower. And then we give them hay if they need hay. Room things up a little bit. So I loaded the buckets out of our grain bin over there. We just drop it down into that trough, sc scoop it out of there. Ready? So these calves here get a thing it's a 19% protein grower pellet. So on those first pens, and they transition from the calf starter to the grower pellet here in this barn. Just drop Christian off at the front there. He's gonna get the milk ready. I'm by the group pens here. Got the calf starter. I wanna give these uh, calves their calf starter before he gets back with the milk and then maybe clean up in the barn a little bit before he gets back. So we like move that around a little bit, make sure there's no stale feet on the bottom. Move these calves yesterday, clean the pens here and move them yesterday. We'll be moving calves outside into here from our calf barn. We'll be moving calves from our calf barn here into these group pens. Uh, probably later today, depends on uh, how it goes in the heifer barn. We still need to finish the second side. Cleaning in there, Sam's working on that this morning. That's why I'm uh, gonna help Christian feed calves so he can uh, continue working on that. In our calf barn now. We start by giving the youngest calves milk and our black crossbred calves. They're all in this uh, connecting alley here. Feed those with the bottles. I'm gonna grab a bottle here and uh, help Christian start feeding these calves. Hungry. That one. In our calf bar now, we just fed these uh, youngest calves here. These were all fed with the pail. The first several, it's kind of a two-hand job because you're trying to teach them to drink out of the pail. But then after, after a few days, they get the hang of it. So now we're uh, done up to here. But the way we do it is uh, the first calves, they get just whole milk from our cows that's pasteurized and then we mix a probiotic in there. We'll feed that down to uh, about 50 liters left in the pasteurizer. And then we'll go back to our mixing room and we'll mix 50 pounds of uh, milk balancer, essentially milk replacer, in with that 50 liters of milk and mix that up to, uh, I don't know the number offhand exactly, 240 liters or something like that. And that will be fed to the rest of the calves that are getting milk. And they're, uh, they're making a little bit of noise in here. They're, they're hungry, they're ready for their milk. So we always start with two liters for the first week. Uh, we're up to three liters, I think somewhere around this calf here, week old. Three liters for another week. Then out of 14 days, they're up to four liters, twice a day. These are all twice a day. And they get four liters uh, twice a day up to 34 days. 
then they'll go back down to two liters twice a day because we're starting the weaning process at that point two liters uh, up to 44 days then they'll go down to a liter and a half twice a day all the way down up to uh, 65 days of age and then they'll be weaned off of milk they'll get just the, uh, the the calf starter pellets and then water obviously I'm gonna go uh, head over to that mixing room help Christian mix that uh, milk balancer here water the rest of the way make sure that it mixes in real good we're going to dump it in slow because we don't want to have clumps of milk placer in there i want to try to avoid clumps because then the calves can get uh, bloated if they were to consume a clump of milk replacer that's not completely mixed in so the way we do it is we'll fill it up now with water mix until you can't see any particles anymore and then mix a minimum of another 10 minutes and in the meantime I don't know if you guys saw that, but we feed our calves colostrum the first time with a tube feeder so that we know that they're getting the whole four, four liters the first feeding, then they'll get it with the bottle the second feeding. We put those tubers in the uh, uh, water, I don't know, it's a PVC pipe there. We put, put a little bit of chlorine in there, chlorinated water, and then it's the calf feeder's responsibility to dump that out, rinse those out, clean them, hang them back up and then they're ready for the next group of calves again so we do that twice a day then we'll clean this room up a little bit here and then go back and feed the rest of the calves back in the barn here now so these calves are all getting four liters it's quite a bit of milk it's just about a, a half full bucket i think the bucket is 10 liters Them. come around we start with the youngest go around they get older as we're going this way down at the very far side there's actually some weaned calves already but that quarter of the barn is going to be moved outside to those group pens so these calves here i'd have to look at my paper there to see what number but at some point over here they're going to switch to two and then once we get to about the wall over there they're going to switch to one and a half liters and at the far end they're weaned now when we're done with milk here in this barn, Christian's gonna take the pasteurizer up to the front, the milk buckets, he's gonna wash those, wash the pasteurizer. Then he'll come back and grab uh, the other, we have three of these, one is a backup for milk and one we use for water only. Uh, the one we use for water only is the original one we had for, uh, probably for 10 years now at least already. So he'll then come back, give the calves warm water, so we give the calves uh, 104, 100 degree water, same, same to the milk temperature. 
He'll start with the oldest calves in the group pens. He'll keep giving those water until they pretty much have drank as much as they want right away. Then he'll fill them up one more time. Then he'll come in here and give these calves all fresh water too in the morning. I gave those ones out there pellets already, but I still have to give the ones in this barn pellets. So I'll do the same as out there. Shake the bucket up a little bit, make sure there's no stale feed in the bottom. And these, it's a little more uh, tricky in here because you want to feed them just about as much feed that they're going to eat. You don't want these buckets full to the top if they're not going to eat it because it'll just get stale on the bottom and then they're not going to eat anything. So it is a little bit uh, tricky in here. Try to get a good idea how much these calves are uh, eating. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit easier if you're doing it every day, but if you just come off your days off or something, it's a little bit uh, tricky to figure out how much to give these calves. Just emptied it out there with the valve on the bottom. These last ones are going to get just a touch more. So from here to the door, these calves are not getting milk anymore. They'll be getting uh, water here in uh, 30 minutes or so. Finish feeding milk. Like I said, Christian's gonna head to the front. I'm gonna go grab the side by side. We'll start giving these calves pellets. Or calf starter, I should say. Uh, just about finished up here Finished giving the feed now. I was just uh, brooming up the floor We like to broom the floor up in here at least once a day got a pile of uh, straw out of the gutter there pile here I'm not going to broom that end up because those calves are going to be moved outside and then we're going to clean that out with the skid steer But we always like to make sure Clean the floor up a little bit try to keep things as clean as possible. It takes a little bit of extra time to uh, Clean the floor in here, make sure that the straw and manure that's in that gutter is cleaned out. But I think the first step to raising uh, good calves is making sure that everything is clean, organized. You can uh, vaccinate and feed whatever you want, whatever amount of milk you want, but it starts by being clean, keeping things clean here for the calves and also for the people working with the calves so that you're not picking up things and uh, bring it in, into the pens. So we'll. Uh, load this up into an empty feed bag dump it on our manure pile and then uh, normally i would also move calves from our connecting alley where we fed those babies there to start into our calf barn but there aren't any to move today there's one red heifer but she still needs to get her second feeding of colostrum and she gets that in there so she could be moved out tomorrow or later today if the guys don't have anything to do but we're we're uh, done in here just about perfect timing because I have a meeting at 9 and it's uh, about 8.45 here, so we'll get this cleaned up here quickly. Dump that straw off, put the empty bags in the dumpster in the front. And then uh, Christian is going to come through, give these calves water, give the ones outside water. And uh, move these calves outside, that's going to be their job here later today. We're also, I don't know if you saw that when I started, we're cleaning out the south side of our heifer barn there. The bedded back pen so Jose Luis and uh, Jose Luis is gonna help Sam finish that and then, then they're all three of those guys together and then gonna work on uh, moving these calves out here but uh, kind of a quick rundown of how we feed our calves on our farm so we do this uh, every morning and every night but only the uh, oldest calves will get uh, feed and water again at night so those those first calves that I was giving feed here in the barn, these ones here, they got pretty much a full bucket and they will eat another probably half bucket tonight. So the guys will come back tonight, fill them up half to three quarters. We always want to make sure that they have enough feed. 
but these calves uh, they eat quite a bit of uh, calf starter because i'll leave those pails empty if we don't fill them up again tonight or at least halfway. and then from here obviously the younger they get the less they eat so these youngest ones here i mean there's just just enough that if there's just enough in there that if they want to try to nibble at it a little bit they can but we also don't want to put a bunch in there because then like i said a little bit ago it gets stale and then they're not going to touch it at all we want these calves uh, eating that calf starter as quickly as possible uh, i think i'll end the video here if you guys have uh, questions comments post them down below i uh i appreciate you guys watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next video